Now, when Ben Shepard said goodbye to the GMTV sofa just last ah, Friday, he didn't go home, put his feet up for a well-earned rest, as <laughs> you would imagine, far from it. He's actually got ready to run five marathons in five days. Silly. Ben Idiot. is racking up the miles <laughs> in the gruelling coast-to-coast challenge. He's raising money for charity. Well, uh, this was Ben arriving in Carlisle last night with some colourful friends. Uh, a hug from Robin, and he's uh, looking pretty tired as well. That's Ben on his journey. He's going from uh, west to east, that's right, from Carlisle to uh, Holtwich to Newcastle, and then he's going to finish his massive expedition in uh, Tynemouth. And it looks like which is about 145 miles, something absolutely ridiculous. It looks a little bit hilly there as well. Uh, anyway, he was supposed <laughs> to be taking it easy, but is he after GMTV? I don't think so. We can join him now. Ben, good to see you this morning. So I thought you were going to put your alarm clock away when you left last Friday. How are you getting on? Emma, the only bit of any of us that wasn't hurting was our eyelids. And then you made us get up ridiculously early to come and say hello. So now even our eyelids are hurting. Uh, we're doing OK. Uh, the boys here <clears throat> are, are, are struggling through. We've done 60 miles so far, two days of 30 miles each. We've just got a cheeky marathon to complete today. So we're all feeling quite positive. Oh, my word. How are the feet? How are the knees? How are the thighs? The feet. How's everybody feet? OK. Feet, feet aren't too bad. The knees are struggling. The thighs are in a bad way, Emma. We could do with a decent rub down at some point. Fortunately, though, a bit of team bonding and team spirit is getting us through it as it stands. <laughs> yeah. Who have you, so who have you got with you? And is it uh, just a fact of life that they're struggling to smile this morning? It is a proper mental challenge, yeah, this, isn't it? Well. Come on, you need to smile first. Andrew's moaning because that's better, Russ. Well done. Okay, let me introduce. Uh, this is Steve. Uh, Steve's had reconstructive surgery on both his knees and he's still going. And he's our only single player uh, in the team. He did want me to let the ladies know he hasn't had a chance to do his hair this morning properly. So it doesn't usually look this bad. But Steve's hanging in there. <laughs> this is Andy, Andy's little boy Ethan, two of the reasons, we're doing this for two reasons, two great charities, the Cystic Fibrosis Trust and for uh, Chuff with the Children's Heart Unit Fund at the Freeman Hospital. Andy's little boy Ethan has got CF, so we're running for Ethan and we're very proud to be doing that. This is Russ, he's our Kenyan contingent, you can see from his legs, he's got, he's got the legs of a Kenyan long distance runner. Or a starling. Or a starling, uh, but the main reason behind all of this is Banana Man and the Dean here and young little Seb. It's little Seb who's had a few heart problems, he's had open heart surgery already uh, and it's been quite an exciting time this life hasn't it? Exciting, painful but yeah amazing, amazing time. Yeah, yeah. and we're going to try and work on stimulating the ears at some point. I'm not sure Banana Man ever had such floppy ears. It's been an incredible thing so far Em and Andrew. Uh, if you go to the GMTV website there's all the stuff on why we're doing it and to be honest it's this little fella that's keeping us going uh, through all the pain and all the heartache because hopefully the money we'll raise will make a huge difference to him and to other little children like him. Well, good for you, Ben. Can people come and join in if they see you running along? Yeah, absolutely. We're running towards Holt Whistle today uh, and then over the next few days. We finish in Tynemouth on Wednesday at around 5 o'clock. If anybody wants to get to the Freeman Hospital, particularly in Tynemouth, about lunchtime, 1 o'clock, and do the last eight miles with us, it's absolutely fantastic. We're going to have a big party on Tynemouth Beach, aren't we, uh, uh, to celebrate the finish, and then we can all collapse uh, and, uh, in a heap somewhere and try and order some new knees on eBay. Yeah. Go and pick some up from the hospital. And we'll try and find you a couple of ladies to give you a bit of a leg massage as well, Ben. I'm sure there'll be lots of volunteers. That would be wonderful, <laughs> Emma. If you're around, of course, you'd yeah. be first choice for all of us. Would anyone fancy I Emma think I'm give busy, me a rub but down? Andrew's available. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Good luck, guys. Well, well done. Uh, well done, Ben. Cheers. I'll speak to you later on. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, still to come this Hi there, welcome back. Very good morning to you. So after 10 long years of early starts on the GMTV sofa, what was the first thing that Ben Shepherd decided to do when he finished last Friday? Can you guess? <laughs> yeah, well, run five marathons in five but days. Amazing. I had no idea. All of this is for charity. He's running from coast to coast across northern England. And uh, he here is crossing the finishing line after day two in Carlisle. That was last night. Came very relieved. Yes, indeed, and There's we can Robin. talk. Yeah, we can talk to him now. Hello, mate. Uh, congratulations. Uh, people always say, "What are you going to do after the GMTV <laughs> sofa?" And you always say, "Oh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Five marathons in five days. How are you doing?" Why not? It seemed like such a good idea at the time, Andrew. Uh, 
we're, there, there's some wonderful reasons why we're doing this. I'll just interview, introduce you very quickly to the team uh, who look like a sinister version of the village people, if you ask me this morning. Uh, this is Russ Steptoe Marks. Uh, here's Steve, ladies' man built. Steve, what would you like to say to ladies this morning? Uh, hello, I can't do it. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Andy Curtis Steigers Roberts, and also this is Ivan Hollingsworth. Now, it's Andy's little boy who has got cystic fibrosis, which is one of the reasons we're running. He's three years old, little Ethan. He's doing really well. And it's Ivan's little boy here in Nadine's. This is Seb. Now, Ivan's dress is Banana Man, but it's a Seb who is the superhero because at four months old, he had over six hours worth of open heart surgery and he was saved, his life was saved by the guys at the Freeman Hospital and it's for Chuff, the Children's Heart Unit Fund, as well as the CF Trust that we're running. So we're raising as much money as we can for little Seb here, little Ethan and lots of kids up and down the country. We've got uh, 60 miles done, is that right? We've done 60 miles, 85 miles to go. Uh, we're running along Hadrian's Wall today, the road that runs parallel to that, so if you see us, do shout. If you go to the website, www.sebforchuff.org.uk, you can find out all the details. I know that stuff's on our website as well. And please just offer any support. We finish on Wednesday about 5 o'clock in Tynemouth, and we'd love to see you if you can get down there. Yeah, good luck as well, and well done, Ben. Great to see you again. Uh, we're going to get the weather.